as I do this, I'm going to be doing some stuff in real life in the background because it's not going to be a professional quality video. I need to say some things and um, I'm anxious and I'm scared and I'm sad. This is uh, Zombie Cleo's Patreon server. I've never recorded here before. That's part of my house, that tower you see up there and the snow structure, tree farm in front. Uh, I've never recorded here because the FPS is so low. I'm at the Iron Titan. It's still producing iron, but it's broken. It's built with an eye shot of my place. So is that automated tree farm. I put this tree farm here because the automated tree farm, you didn't get saplings. So I just took some of the forest here and planted trees so that I could get the wood that I needed because that other tree farm doesn't work for me because I wasn't getting saplings or apples or any of that stuff. So this is better. Plus, I think you can only use oak in that farm. And I needed lots of kinds of wood. I'm building a giant bonsai tree. That white thing is a bonsai dish. Bonsais are uh, sculpted trees. It's an art form in Japan. You take a tree that would normally grow to full size, and by clipping it and trimming it, and that includes the roots as well as the stems, and by um, shaping it, by bending, gently bending the branches and so on, even the roots, bending them with wire, and uh, kind of like kids wearing braces on their teeth to change where the teeth are. Um, so I'm trying to build like a little uh, giant um, bonsai tree over my place. My place is um, made out of simple materials like um, I'm sorry like dirt and stuff. I've been on creative servers where we would give ourselves challenges to build houses and stuff out of real simple materials and one of the most fun challenges I ever participated in was building houses out of dirt and they were like oh gosh one person built a spaceship somebody built a mansion, castle all that kind of stuff. I love doing that sort of thing, um, but it's unconventional. It's also things that artists do, just copy other people's style, build a clever imitate somebody else. You do things doing them yourself requires a lot of sometimes they, and sometimes they don't. But if you don't have the courage to try, you'll never know, right? You'll never make anything great if you don't take a chance on making mistakes. It's just true. I'm sorry about my mic quality. There's not a whole lot I can do about it, but I'm fine. I need a little bit of dirt to make some repairs. Apparently, when I logged in, there was a creeper right at my path, and it blew a hole in my path, and I need to fix it. I also need to go down in my basement because there's water damage. But I haven't done that yet. So this is the first video I've ever recorded here, and you see it. It's a slideshow. I don't get more than about... 20, 30 FPS at um, spawn. There used to be Zumavoid's automated melon and pumpkin farms directly across the road from my house. There's a kind of like a common area, a common ground. Uh, there used to be lots of animals in farms and pens there. So there was just every time, you know, spawns are always loaded. There's iron titans shooting out iron and stuff and there were melons and um, pumpkins shooting all over the place, and there are structures made out of fence posts, big structures made out of fence posts, which is perfectly fine. It's a great creative task, but fence posts are a transparent block, and they're an irregular shape, so the game is never quite sure where fence posts are, and it does cause a little latency, a little lag, and uh, very large, multicolored stained glass structures and as people move around them, the game has to render each block differently to show the colors underneath and stuff. So that causes a lot of latency. I'm, uh, that's my house, and I'm approaching the common area now. Somebody built a giant statue of Zombie Cleo that's causing a lot of problems. And that used to be my property. We used to be able to mark our properties. And, um, I marked that property. That's one reason why people on this server are mad at me, because... Somebody built an enchanting table one block, literally one block from my door, about where Cleo's feet are there. Um, they built an enchanting room there. I didn't know this. I was working in the back of my house and doing stuff. And what you had to do was, after you'd been on the server a certain number of minutes or hours or something, you could use either a wooden axe or a um, 
double or a three, thinking you could make your property bigger. So I was in the back of my property, not up here in the front, and I made my property bigger. I'd been waiting for a long time to do so. I didn't know there was an enchanting room built in front. I only found out about this by watching um, the video of a guy on the server. The first thing anybody had ever publicly said about me on the server was to complain that I had swallowed up this enchanting room, and apparently there was a um, chest inside with somebody's diamond loot. I didn't know anything about this. When I finally went up front and saw that I'd swallowed the enchanting room, I broke down the door because that protection thing, you couldn't even use doors. So I made it as accessible as I could. I didn't ask anybody to build right next to my place. And, you know, um, there was area in the common space, but they could have built that since it was for everybody to use instead of right in my front yard. But there is the common area. I'm looking at it right now. Um, so there was huge, huge amounts of lag here, and I never got more than, like, 9 FPS, and that's not recorded, so there was no point in trying. I grew double tall spruces up there to get extra wood, so I wouldn't have to go all the way to the farm, the tree farm, to get wood, and, you know, just trying to save time be and effort because it's so hard to get around on the server, and mobs spawn, and not being able to see, it's been really clumsy and hard. Um, I haven't even had much time to cave here. See, there's where I had a fence there. It led out into the common area. See, there's the common area. Th I knew there was a road on top of me. I was fine with the road being on top of me. But somebody built a wall and black my blocked my fence. So here I am with really bad lag, vision impaired. Sometimes I would need to go there to get supplies or food. or I didn't raise my own animals. They were all right there. Why bother? Um, and I don't have much space here. So I would need to go get food or supplies or something. And the only other way is to go over a hill um, through a river and risk um, being attacked by mobs. So I had fences down there, and somebody put a wall in front of them. And now I'm getting complaints that I greased the server because you it wasn't much damage, but you, you destroyed two blocks in our wall. Well, your wall, which is supposed to be everybody's wall, your wall is in front of my fence. I can't get out of my place. Now, mind you, I put the blocks back. But they've got core protect and somebody... Basically, I'm under surveillance all the time. I'm sure they're looking for reasons to dislike me. They took all the flowers out of here. Somebody leaves my doors and gates open frequently. There's creeper damage. Um, walls and ceilings, I mean, floors and ceilings were blown out. I had flowers in there. They're trying to claim that having flowers on grass causes lag. It's not true. They're trying to claim that uh, strip out front was pumpkins. I had enough pumpkins on both sides to make um, a full stack because I need jack-o'-lanterns because I'm vision impaired. And uh, somebody complained that my pumpkin stems were causing lag. They don't. You'll see later in this video I go past hundreds of pumpkin vines that I built someplace else, and my FPS is pretty darn high. And you'll see my FPS here is low. They took down my vines inside. They were two blocks tall, just so I could climb up the wall to the inside of the project. They took down my vines and said they were causing lag. Well, vines cause lag as they are growing, not once they can't grow anymore. The vines can't move vertically or horizontally. They're all in place. So it's in that room right there that I'm, uh, well, I guess, yeah, it's right there. The vines were all along that snow, and they're all gone. Um, I think my build is disliked because it's unusual and because its main component at the ground level is dirt with a little bit of, you know, like brick and hardened clay and stuff to make it look like a real southwestern adobe. So now we're basically inside the dish where the dirt is and the roots, and I'm just starting on the dirt and the roots. Um, and I'm s and there's that that big or pink ball is an ice cream cone, a very clever design, and made out of a lot of fence posts, which is, like I said, an irregular shape, and the game struggles to find out the shape and configuration of the fences. So part of the tree will go up, and the other part of the tree will bend over on over my front walkway. That's my plan. And you guys know I can build a tree. I researched Japanese um, bonsai, how they're built, what kinds of 
um, plants are usually used. Some are fruit trees, some are like azalea flowers, that sort of thing. Um, some are trees that would normally be enormous, and they're made very, very small. So it's a tree in a container, and they're sculpted and shaped. It's really an art form. Um, now, for the past two or three months, my um, multiple sclerosis has been in relapse. I haven't talked to you about it because I don't want to alarm or frighten people. And there are some people who judge people with disabilities and think that they're lying and malingering and lazy and not trying hard enough. So I haven't said anything about it much on this on my channel or anywhere. I haven't been able to play the server partly because of that, because my vision has been so bad and the lag here is so bad that it was, see my FPS, that it wasn't safe for me to play here because all I would do is fall off mountains and stuff. And I couldn't see to place blocks well with the lag so bad. So I have been playing some on Falter server, and you know the other places I've been playing. But I haven't been playing much here, partly because of that. And partly because when I was here at Christmas, because I hadn't been on much, I went to the community Christmas tree right here in East Common. I was the only one who didn't have a Christmas present. I don't have Christmas in real life, you know. I don't have any friends or family here. And except for my online friends, I don't really have much of a holiday and I don't really have much money. Um, so it kind of means something when I check in with my online friends. And no, I couldn't contribute to the Christmas stuff or the holiday stuff here because I couldn't be on the server. I haven't been able to mine. And when I am here, I'm desperate to d try to do something with my spawn house because I know it doesn't look good right now. I'm going to this. This is a stronghold. I we have to the signs now when I move things because I'm afraid I'll be accused of griefing. But I couldn't get horses through that portal without them dying. So, and here's the spawn room. I mean, the um, end portal room. It's beautifully done. Whoever worked on this did a great job. I added extra doors and stuff, again, because it wasn't a safe way to get animals in, in and out. It's easier to pull, go through the portal yourself and pull them into the portal with weeds from the backside. But there's always walls behind portals now, and it's hard to do that. So this is where we met for the dragon fight. And I didn't know this because nobody told me, but people had worked really hard on this. I didn't realize it wasn't just these chests and stuff. I brought everything I needed to the dragon fight because that's what you do, right? Well, I got here and I didn't know it, but there are on here things to put your armor on. There's gardens. There were already snowballs and snow golems here, um, eggs, cakes, all kinds of stuff. I don't dare go in there. It says authorized personnel or something, and I'm afraid to go in there. I'm afraid I'll get accused of griefing. Um, people are keeping very close tabs on me on the server. I'm very frightened. Um, the chat logs, what blocks I break, where I go on the server, like they think I'm a thief. Trying to find out what the uh, troubleshoot the problems over at Spawn. I, there's 80 something, 80, 90 entities underground, really close to my house. Might be a spawner. Um, I added these doors to get horses in and out. Uh, and I was underground with my F3 on, gently removing blocks to try to find out where the mobs were and what are you doing see here's my new place um what are you doing why are you breaking blocks under so-and-so's house I said, I'm, 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 I'm. That's not i mean we don't know if they did frames per second while I'm recording over here um, and I've got tons of pumpkins everywhere and I've got more animals than I dared have over the other place by the way my horse is missing that's one reason I came over to this new base I'm building because my horse with armor and saddle is gone I believe if I remember right that I had it at old spawn and it's gone now. But like I said, frequently the doors are left open and somebody's going in my house because there's creeper damage. They're not grieving, but they're letting mobs in and then standing around and letting them blow up. It's happened like three times. There's patched places in my floor. You'll see 
on the ground level, there's no grass in one place because I just patched it with dirt. Yeah, my horse is gone. I had two horses and two dogs. Um, and the floor down below, I put um, slabs, burnt slabs to cover up the hole. Because then, that time, my horses had fallen through very far into the basement and taken some damage. So somebody's going in the place. They're opening the gates and opening the back doors that go to the mine, which is dark, and goodies can come in and um, aggroing them, and they're blowing up. So I w wanted to move out here because I want the ocean. I also want to be close both to the end portal and to that portal that leads right to the nether hub. I mean, right to the old spawn, my old place. So I can bring things back and forth. I'm using a lot of dark oak. There's dark oak forest behind me. And somebody didn't want me to build near this. Oh, this is a real fist of knots. This is all this terrain around here is sort of 1.7.3 terrain generation. Um, yeah, it was raining for me. Um, that's a real fist of knots. I prob I'm afraid to show you the video of this because I'm afraid we'll somebody will follow and damage this. I got objections for wanting to um, build over here because people somebody said they wanted to build a temple over the stronghold and I said well fine I'm not going to be anywhere near the stronghold but I want to have easy access to the nether portal and to the end portal. Well you can have another stronghold. Yeah but I wouldn't have a nether portal and I'd have to figure out the math and stuff and I'm it's really easy for me to mess that up. It's hard for me to read numbers on in the GUI in Minecraft. And you see I've got it on large. You see how much room it takes up on the screen? That's why I fall a lot. You see my hotbar and stuff? They're in the way. I can't see what's under my feet. And when there's a lot of people typing in chat, I really can't see the screen very well. So they didn't want me to come over here because I wanted to come over here. But then another time I was in the end and I went over to see the new ender pearl farm and get some ender pearls and um, walking back toward the portal, nothing had changed much since the dragon fight. It's still all messy and stuff. Well, it's dark there. I can't see ender people well. I'm afraid that I will fall or trip or look up and accidentally see an ender person. There were just a few blocks, a one high ridge of blocks. I I mined them out so I could walk without jumping and stuff. Please don't mind blocks so close to the portal. And I said, why not? Like, I didn't damage anything. I didn't. But I really wanted to know why not. Basically because I wanted to do something. In common area, it's not any. There was nothing wrong with me harvesting a few blocks of endstone right around the portal so I wouldn't fall. Now, I don't owe anybody an explanation of my disabilities. The uh, kid one time, why would anybody light things with jack-o'-lanterns? And I said, why not? No answer. Look, 1.7.3 beta type terrain generation and a fist of knots. Beautiful, with a big ocean I can build in with no mob spawn. And if I fall from a high I'll land in water. You see what I'm saying? It's excellent. Plenty of resources around. Plus, with my train, and I did have a horse, um, I can get to forth fast. And with the donkeys, I can get the materials because I have a um, dark oak forest thing there. So I got no answer from these people about why I shouldn't mine endstone blocks, except that. I'm Granny Gamer 1, and apparently I'm not welcome on the server because I haven't spent enough time not the in crowd, and I'm weird, and I do things differently, and I said, oh, I see, so people just tell me what to do, but ask why I don't deserve a response, and I replied back mm. with um, very inappropriate language. Later on, I was trying to prove that it wasn't me that was shooting people during the... He said I was shooting people during the dragon fight. And I'm like, really? I was just putting down snow golems and trying to put down water sources. And I never even got to fight the dragon. And I don't even think I ever got out my bow. Um, I know who the kid was. I went over to check his video. Oh, so I made a recording of the doctor. And I saw him. 
What I know is you are a toxic, I won't use the word, and you are blocked from everything I own. And he blocked me on, on Google+, Plus, so I can't show what my original comment was, which was, you know who was speaking during the fight. Um, the problem is he owns zombiecleo.com, which means if there's any sort of website where people can participate, I don't dare <laughs> They yell at me and accuse me of craziest stuff. And there's no like ante room, no lobby that you can go to. And when you go into TeamSpeak, you are right in the middle of it. There's no little room that you can go in and see who's in TeamSpeak and decide whether or not to be in TeamSpeak with us. Right into the middle of them. And I can't take things like that and accuse of things I didn't do. And I think it's really bad for the reputation of Cleo server that this atmosphere exists. It's not Cleo's fault. She's for a job. She's been sick. She's been busy and trying to do Minecraft. And she's got stuff. And she trusted these people. And they took over certain responsibilities. But I don't think she realizes um, the power imbalance and how impressed with themselves these people are, some of them that think this is their server. You know what I mean? I'm looking for my missing horse. Um, I don't know. So I'm being accused of really weird, crazy things that don't make sense. Because I haven't been able to be online much. Because my build is different than other people's builds. I'm sure a lot of these people are, are, they're very young people, they don't have much experience with, you know, in university I studied art, and I know how you do things, and I've studied Minecraft art, and wire framing, and building organics, usually in creative, but this is, I like the challenge of doing this in survival, and um, I don't think they know much art history, or I bet they don't know what, a, well, I talked to one kid, I know he doesn't know what a bonsai tree is. Or anything about that culture or the history of the art form. So I'm different. I'm not a criminal. And I resent being treated like one. I resent the as assumption that I'm going to do something to screw things up. To have somebody say, well, I don't want you to build in the end because you cause lag. I didn't build the Iron Titan right there in my place. I didn't build the automatic farms. I didn't use a lot of stained glass. So I'm listing links to unlisted videos that document what I've been saying. They've been up on my channel um, unlisted for a while now. I'm also being accused of making up that people are calling me names and accusing me of things. And I've documented everything. And I wouldn't release it because it's a zombie Cleo server. It's not theirs. They can't demand me to release information without Cleo's permission. The links are there. If you're a subscriber or if you've got a link to this video, you can access those videos. There's going to be a meeting on Sunday, and I'm afraid it's going to be a witch burning, and it's going to be everybody dogpiling and dumping on me everything that's wrong with their personal lives. young person on this server I made the horrible mistake of friending on Facebook given the gossip and the awful stories about me and the nasty angry hateful attitude that I'm hearing on this server I have a feeling she's told people things about me that she knew from my Facebook page and that she doesn't agree with my politics or what I do as far as social justice and stuff and I feel very vilified, and I also feel afraid that I might get docked in real life. But I don't want to leave this server because I respect Cleo, and it's m the first time in years that I've had a real opportunity to work for her. So I have no intention of leaving unless Cleo makes me leave. That's fact. So there it is. <sighs> I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Thank you very much for your support, and... 
your kindness. I go on, uh, like, Paul's a servant. It's like 180 degree difference. It's sunlight instead of darkness and fear. I can't go through this again. I can't have people damage my reputation by gossiping and accusing me of things in in-game chat and so on. Okay, the video has run out. I'm leaving. Bye. I will kill you. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adopt. Get it.